And much of the information in this report hasn't been widely available before. The goal of its release is to help police and policymakers reduce gun violence. And many of the issues that are highlighted in the report are things that Washington lawmakers are trying to tackle this session. ATF's first sweeping report in two decades, looking specifically at guns used in crimes. One of the big problems it highlights, stolen guns, with more than a million stolen over a four-year period, something Tacoma PD warned about earlier this week. In the hands of who knows who is really alarming for all of us. Tacoma police say a gun is stolen out of a vehicle every 48 hours. Just this month, a 17 year old was arrested in Tacoma after police say he shot and killed a 14 year old with a stolen gun, though it was from a house, not a car. We get asked all the time, how are juveniles getting their hands on firearms, right? And unfortunately, some of those some of those guns might be coming from these vehicle problems. Another key point the report shows is a shorter time between when a gun is purchased legally and when it's recovered from a crime scene. Some even bought less than a year before showing up in a crime. ATF says that's an indicator of gun trafficking or straw purchase, where someone who can legally buy a gun purchases one and sells it to someone who can't legally own one. This ATF report and others show that there's still some gaps in the system and we've got to address them to make sure that we're keeping guns out of the wrong hands. State Senator Marco Leas backing two pieces of legislation to tackle that. The first would create legal liability to hold firearm retailers and manufacturers accountable. Just like we did in the opioid space, if somebody knows that a lot of, of the, the, per, the products they're selling are going to the wrong place, they have some responsibility to try and stop that. The second would require a permit to purchase a gun. Uh, not waiting until after the fact to find out if someone fails a background check, but actually having to get a permit in advance of making that initial purchase. State lawmakers are also proposing a bill to ban assault weapons, which is being supported by the state's attorney general and Governor Inslee. And we'll keep you updated as these measures move through the legislature.